I've got some bad news, folks. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. Well, it's with a heavy heart that I have to report that I'll be sending this beautiful wee scope back to my retailer after discovering a potential issue with it, which I wanted to share with you all. If you've been following along with this story, you'll know that I recently purchased this 4.5 inch F4 imaging Newtonian from First Light Optics here in the UK. And I was super excited to get it out under the stars for some testing. A day or two after posting my video, which I'll link up here and in the description below, I received a comment from one of my subscribers saying he was unable to achieve focus after testing it with three different coma correctors. Because of the clouds, I hadn't been able to get out and test mine, but I also noticed that Chris over in the excellent Astro La Vista channel was reporting the same issues in achieving focus when using a coma corrector. I'll link over to Chris's channel in the description below, and I believe he's going to be posting a similar update to me, so watch out for that. Chris also works at First Light Optics, so he has more info on this issue than me, and he's kindly reached out to me via email and my other social media channels to give me a heads up in this unfortunate focusing issue. So what's the issue? Well, due to the design and size of this wee scope, there seems to be a problem achieving focus due to the amount of travel available along the focuser tube. After some initial tests from Chris and other users, they're finding that even after racking the focuser all the way into the tube, they're nearly reaching focus, but they can't quite get there. Because there's no more inward travel available, it's impossible to reach focus with a range of quite a number of popular coma correctors. Even if it were possible to reach focus by racking the focuser all the way in, the focuser tube would cut into the image plane anyway, and you get some weird shapes in your photos, so it's not ideal. So far, it appears that First Light Optics have managed to get it working okay with the Teleview Paracore, but it's currently retailing in the UK for £545. It's a solid and brilliant piece of kit to be sure, but you'd be nearing an outlay of nearly £900 to get this scope working as intended for imaging. The great value argument of the scope quickly disappears in that scenario, sadly. A coma corrector is a necessary addition to these fast Newtonians, especially for imaging, and you do need to factor that into the cost of buying one of these, that's a given. But I already had two different coma correctors, the Skywatcher Applin Attic and the Star Arizona Nexus. I was already planning to use those, so I didn't need to spend any more than the £299 for this particular scope. I tried both of my own coma correctors in a quick daylight test, but I wasn't able to get either of them to focus so my gear won't play nice with this scope either. I got the Star Arizona Nexus fairly close, but the Applin Attic couldn't get anywhere near focus. Cheaper coma correctors don't seem to work properly in this scope, so at the time of this video at least, there isn't a budget-friendly alternative to imaging with this Newtonian. Chris tells me that First Light Optics are working on some ideas, and they're continuing to test, so I'd recommend keeping an eye on Chris's channel and First Light Optics' own website for the official updates on this. I don't want to have to buy an even more expensive coma corrector to make this scope work for me, so I've decided to send it back sadly to First Light Optics for a refund. I'm gutted to do it as I had really high hopes for it, but I think it's the right thing to do given the circumstances. I do want to say though that First Light Optics have been their usual brilliant selves in sorting this issue out for me, with no hassle and no questions asked. I know from experience that they're always fast and reliable when dealing with these issues, and in this case it's been no exception. So thanks to the team over there, especially to you Chris, who went above and beyond in contacting and communicating this issue with me directly. Thanks very much. So that's where we are with this little Stella Lyra F4 Imaging Newtonian. I'm truly sorry it didn't work out, and I know from the comments in my last video that loads of you out there were excited to see First Light with this scope, and I really wanted to share that with you all, but sadly it won't work out in this case. It's a real shame though, because I think the build quality is still great for such a budget-friendly scope, and the fit and finish looks amazing. But if it can't perform properly as intended, that negates all of its good points. And I don't want it sitting on my shelf gathering dust, so it has to go back. I wanted to post this update video as soon as possible though, to keep you all in the loop and up to date with these developments, especially those that are considering picking one up for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more astrophotography adventures soon, so stay tuned for that. Take care of yourselves, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and clear skies to you all.